assume others can hear me as well. Um, all right, um, thanks for the chance to present. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, some work that I've done with um, uh, my colleague uh, Christos Stefanakos uh, here at SINDEF. Uh, um, it's on um, uh, ocean modeling in uh, the Gulf of uh, Patras in uh, Greece. Uh, it's in a uh, uh, project, uh, EEA uh, project uh, um, funded by uh, Norway. Um, and in collaboration with uh, Greek uh, partners. Um, the topic is, um, is uh, that they have, um, they have some problems with um, uh, uh, low oxygen levels in uh, a lagoon called uh, Aitulico, uh, where at the bottom it's um, it's uh, anoxic uh, conditions, uh, so they would like to um, have a study to go into that and, and see uh, see some of the mechanisms uh, for that. So to do that, uh, we need to start uh, on a large scale and uh, simulate uh, with ocean models with several uh, model domains and uh, nest uh, us from from large scale down to to finer scale. Um, in this. Uh, project we use uh, uh, an ocean model called CINMOD, uh, the SINTEF model. Uh, it's uh, developed and man maintained at SINTEF since 1987. Uh, it's hydrodynamics, ecology, and sea ice uh, that are coupled. And there's a reference here for uh, further details. Um, on the globe, figure of the globe here, uh, we have. Um, uh, some uh, model domains that we uh, currently use uh, indicated. Um, the green uh, one with a, an, an arrow there you, uh, is the, the North Atlantic, which we have uh, run for uh, 20 kilometers, uh, 12 years, so with a 20 kilometer resolution, nested to a model for the Mediterranean Sea in four kilometer resolution. Uh, and then nested again to um, that right figure of the Ionian Sea. Uh, and to the left on the figure, uh, there is a uh, southern part of Italy, and to the right, it's uh, Greece. So uh, the white rectangle uh, represents um, the Gulf of uh, Patras, uh, which is the topic for this talk. Uh, based on 100, 160 meter model resolution. And finally, we are going to simulate this uh, Aitilico Lagoon with 32 meter resolution. Uh, CIMOD is forced by uh, atmosphere uh, with ERA-5 data, uh, initial temperature from uh, World Ocean Atlas, uh, river discharge, uh, tides, on the open boundary and on the boundary of uh, the Ionian Sea, and uh, temperature salinity uh, currents in um, in all the vertical layers uh, of of uh, the model domain uh, on the boundaries. So uh, the rivers uh, have we taken from um, uh, this Swedish uh, hype model. Uh, it contains um, daily runoff data from uh, 1980 to 2010. And you can see here the yellow area is the main river system in, in this, uh, within this model domain that we run here. Um, and the red line is the runoff for one specific year. And the shaded uh, uh, area in the background are other runoff from, from other uh, years for that same river system. And we put it together to get the freshwater supply into to the model domain as correctly as, as uh, the data uh, allow us. So uh, we have a biological model set up for this uh, purpose. Um, it's a modified ver version of uh, an ecosystem model used for Norwegian waters. Um, it's nitrogen based uh, using this uh, red field uh, ratio. Um, uh, the model has uh, 13 state variables 
nitrate, ammonium, silicate, phosphate, diatoms, flagellates, micro zooplankton, uh, small copepods, uh, slow and fast sinking detritus, dissolved organic carbon, a bacteria, and uh, heterogenic, heterogenic uh, nanoflagellates. That's the, the content of, uh, of the model. And oxygen is uh, calculated from uh, photosynthesis and respiration and degradation of living uh, and dead uh, organic uh, material. And of course, exchange uh, with the atmosphere at the surface. The bathymetry in the region uh, is uh, like this. Um, you can see, uh, of course, it's uh, shallowest um, uh, close to land, but you have this uh, region uh, named uh, Mesolonghi. It's a lagoon, which is very shallow, like one meter or, or a few meters uh, deep. And you have this um, uh, tiny connection into Aitolico Basin there. Uh, it's not very well represented in this model domain, but it's not the focus here. And the Gulf of Patras uh, and the entrance um, to the Corinth uh, Bay. So um, for currents, um, we have a uh, mean um, current uh, field. Uh, so uh, I made an animation which shows um, uh, the monthly means for the 10 year uh, period. And you can see this uh, variation uh, in in the system here. Uh, the maximum current is stronger than 0.2 meters per second, but shows that uh, color scaling to to uh, get some some details uh, out in in the figure. So this is the horizontal view of uh, of the current, and we have also a, a, a vertical section here which we have uh, plotted and. To, to see some of the um, um, uh, vertical uh, variability in, uh, in the entrance of this uh, Gulf of uh, Patras. Uh, you can see that to, to the right, it's uh, more or less constant, uh, stronger current, uh, 0.2 uh, meter per second uh, at max, 0.3 perhaps. And um, uh, to the left in the section, it's uh, more variable. Uh, yeah, for salinity, uh, it's uh, much less uh, variability, but you see this uh, region, uh, which is uh, blue uh, to the left on the figure, that's the main river system coming out there. So it's lots of variability in uh, salinity in that region. And in addition to this uh, lagoons, where you have also freshwater supply and it's really shallow, so you get lots of uh, variability there as well, much less in uh, towards the open ocean. And the vertical section, uh, you can see this uh, uh, in the top of the figure, it's uh, this river plume um, dominating uh, uh, the salinity uh, distribution there. Uh, and in the vertical, it's the current system going back and forth. Right, um, salinity. I've chose, chosen to, to show some um, uh, figures uh, like this. This is temperature. Uh, it's a um, planar plan view to, to the left and, and the section to, to the right. Um, it varies uh, quite a bit. And of course, uh, the temperature uh, varies uh, mostly in shallow region and in uh, close to uh, close to the river. Uh, it's uh, less variation uh, vertically. But in this section, we can see that uh, there is a, uh, I'm going to show that again, uh, this establishment of, um, of vertical gradients uh, each spring. And uh, it goes uh, back to uh, homogeneous uh, water column uh, in, in the winter. So you can see that this system is established uh, each spring and then disappears again. Uh, late autumn. So um, the view for, for oxygen, um, uh, again, uh, the maximum mean values are somewhat limited here um, uh, to, show, to show the figure only. 
Uh, you see there's a lot of uh, variability in this uh, lagoon area where it's really shallow. Uh, and then uh, less variability out in the open ocean and more uh, variability into uh, the Gulf of Patras and uh, towards uh, the Bay of Corinth. So um, when you run an ocean model, you get uh, a lot of data out. Um, so um, this can be represented like this cube where you have um, depth and uh, latitude longitude. Uh, and um, uh, this X represent this cube and you have one cube per, uh, per variable and per time step. And we have saved every hour through the 10 year simulation. So you get lots of cubes, lots of data. So to do statistical analysis on, on that cube, um, we rearrange uh, the system so that we have um, uh, years and month and time in month and all the points uh, like horizontal uh, field like that. So year, month uh, and time in month. Uh, and then we can apply some statistical methods to, to this. Uh, we estimate the mean monthly variability which is, um, uh, here you can see, uh, uh, mean over the time in the month and standard deviation of that. Uh, it's uh, the actual values minus the, um, uh, minus the mean values and uh, squared and uh, square root. Um, and this, uh, from this mean, we, the mean of, um, of, uh, of all of the month, we can uh, do a mean so that um, mean of, of the month, like mean of all the Januarys, mean of all the Februarys and, and Marches, etc. Uh, and uh, we estimate also a mean standard deviation for monthly, uh, for monthly means. Um, and this can be plotted to get a, a view of uh, the variability of the system. Uh, where the dots represent each individual years uh, and the blue line uh, represent uh, the mean of the means, right? Like uh, the mean of all the Januarys, mean of all the Februarys, Marches, etc. So uh, in one figure, you can kind of get an, an, an overview of a 10 year uh, simulation like this. Um, so uh, further, um, uh, we uh, estimate mean annual variability. Um, and then it's a uh, mean of, uh, of all the uh, time in the month and of all the month. So we get a mean for a year and we uh, estimate standard deviation for that as well. Um, and then we can estimate the mean of, uh, of the mean of the means. So mean of, uh, that means mean of the, the whole, uh, whole time series, basically. Um, and we estimate uh, interannual variability. Um, in this case, it's, it's the same equation. Uh, it's the same. Uh, the mean of the means is a mean. Uh, but in this, it's, it's not uh, the same as uh, that. So it's, um, uh, and an interannual uh, variability between years and variability within years, basically. So um, for currents, um, we see here the, the mean fields uh, for the 10 year uh, simulation and the current uh, is like this. We have uh, anticyclonic uh, circulation uh, outside the entrance of, uh, of uh, the um, Bay of, um, of uh, Patas, Gulf of Patas. Um, and um, uh, we have stronger current, intensified current uh, at this tip and uh, at this uh, sound here. Um, uh, vertically, uh, we can see uh, stronger current in, uh, in this uh, region uh, with red color uh, close, to, close to the tip. Uh, and, and uh, lower current speeds uh, 
uh, vertically and uh, towards uh, uh, the open ocean. Uh, and the analysis of these fields is like uh, like this, comes out like this. Um, we have mean annual variability to the left, uh, which is, uh, uh, this figure is, is um, uh, coefficient of variation and it's uh, in percent and it's basically um, the standard deviation divided by the means in, in statistics it's called the uh, coefficient of, uh, of variation variation so uh, it means that um, in this figure we can say that uh, in this reddish uh, area uh, we have uh, a variability between uh, within the years like 80 percent of of the mean value uh, yeah the variability is 80 percent of the mean value and in uh, interannual uh, variability of current speed uh, it's uh, quite much uh, lower and uh, the highest variability is uh, towards uh, the open ocean and less so uh, inside the, the gulf of uh, patras Temperature, uh, the mean fields look like uh, this. And when we do the analysis, um, it's uh, mean annual uh, variability uh, comes out like this, uh, with a coefficient up to 35% uh, inside um, uh, this um, uh, Mesolonghi area. And, and that is basically because it's a really shallow area and you have um, air sea interactions, uh, it gets colder during winter, so you get more variability in that uh, uh, region. Yeah, uh, so you get the seasonal you get the seasonal cycle uh, more clearly showing off there. In interannual variability, you you see also uh, more variability in the Mesolonghi area, uh, but also uh, more variability towards the open ocean. For salinity. Um, much lower, uh, well, uh, this is a mean. So uh, the means are quite smooth, as they, except uh, towards um, the lagoons and um, the river plume from the major river in the system. Uh, to the right also, uh, the river plume dominates in, in the surface. Uh, vertically, it's a smooth field. The analysis uh, shows um, lots of variability in salinity or the most uh, variability in salinity in this region where the, you have shallow lagoons and, and river plume. And, uh, and for the rest of, uh, of the system, it's, it's really a small variability compared to, for instance, temperature. The coefficient of uh, variability is like 1% here, while in current it was uh, about 80%. For inter interannual um, uh, variability uh, for salinity, uh, you get uh, also small values and uh, mostly in, in, the, in lagoons. For oxygen, um, we have uh, mean fields uh, like this around uh, uh, seven up to eight uh, milligrams per liter in, uh, in means in, in the surfaces. Uh, and vertically, uh, you have a distribution shown like uh, on, on the right uh, side of the system. Um, and um, uh, yeah, and the analysis uh, shows that um, most of the variability is also concentrated to, to the shallow areas where you have lots of production, but also uh, lots of air-sea interaction. Uh, yeah, same maximum uh, variability both for um, uh, mean annual and interannual uh, goes into the uh, lagoon area and, and less variability towards the open ocean. Uh, so for chlorophyll, um, we have mean values uh, like uh, like this and. When we do the analysis, um, the variability is uh, really high in um, for chlorophyll, uh, 
and and uh, particularly in close to to Patras uh, city and uh, that area, it's uh, some river runoff in in that area as well, um, contributing to to this with uh, nutrients from from the rivers and uh, yeah. Um, when we look at the wind uh, field uh, mean uh, wind speed uh, for the whole time series uh, looks like this up to six meters per second and mostly uh, highest winds uh, towards the open ocean less uh, close to land and uh, and um, uh, closer to um, the in, inner part of of, uh, of the gulf um, of course this is uh, colored by uh, the resolution of the wind field which is not so great for this uh, purpose it should maybe have been higher uh, when we do the analysis for wind speed, uh, we see that uh, there's uh, uh, for mean annual variation, it's uh, mostly uh, the variability is uh, is inside the Gulf of Patras and, and less outside. And interannual, uh, we see a, a changed pattern with um, uh, uh, highest. Um, uh, variability uh, both inside and outside and, uh, and a smoother field uh, in, in the middle. So to try to sum up a bit, um, we've simulated uh, the Gulf of Patras. Uh, uh, it's a mul multiplied uh, nested uh, setup uh, with uh, four model domains in, in this uh, application. Uh, we have uh, mean annual variability for, for currents is about uh, 60 percent uh, temperature it's uh, 17 to 90 percent salinity uh, 0.3 to 0.6 percent and wind speed 55 65 percent while uh, interannual variability uh, have uh, generally lower values so for currents uh, uh, 6 to 12 percent and temperature 1.2 to 1.8 salinity 0.4 to 0.6 and wind speed 2 to 2.4 so um and along the depths is a horizontal uh temperature and salinity and vertical uh currents layering of of the mean values um okay so that was a quick view of uh, the work we've done in in this um project so I was wondering if there was any questions and if I would be able to hear them. 